Let's see what we've got for postcards. Greetings from Tucson, home of the Hamburglar and Noam Chomsky. I love your show. From Gwaylof Boot Nasty. All right. I hope that the Law of Theater is going to come back soon. And Gwaylof added a little bit of additional artwork to the front of the postcard there. Creatures. Tyler's got this Eric Dolphy jazz postcard. Dear Matt and Cargantona, have you guys seen the 2015 movie Anomalisa? This movie is amazing. I love your show. Uh, yes, I have seen it. Craig has not seen it. Uh, you asked us about this in the past. <laughs> but uh, thanks for another postcard. I made it. And I do have that on the scene it list. We will talk about it eventually. I'll talk about it. This guy hasn't seen it. I'll see it. We'll see. Sean Henry, a card offering a warning about a problem I'm certain none of us have ever considered. I'm not sure I'll ever look at trolley wires the same way again. Here's a man. You know what he's doing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow, he is completing a current. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Here's a little card from Mark in St. Cloud, Florida. They have one in Florida, too. We just get stuff from all over. Can yeah. you believe it? I can. You're the greatest. Oh. That's cute. Got a little bit of scratchola uh, in there. Cinco dolores. Just my cheesy mm. way of saying thank you. Thought we'd follow up, plus a little something to keep the lights on. Tony and Molly. And then there's also a letter. Okay. <laughs> Tony says, recently I sent you guys a box with some postcards and records, including the jazz singer, the Godfather, and Ray Parker Jr. Apparently I forgot to put a letter in <laughs> telling you who it was from. You didn't forget, Tony. You didn't forget. And by now you know the solution to the mystery. And so this is the letter that he sent, which I read on our last episode. Yes. So thank you for your conscientious follow-up, Tony. I'm very glad this letter isn't saying, you rat bastards, you didn't read my letter. <laughs> When you go to our website, welcome to the show.com, there are all of our episodes, and there are PayPal donation buttons that you can donate to support our show with a one-time or rolling monthly donation. And now I will read the letters of some of our rolling monthly donors. Bridget, Liam, Mary Beth, Luke, Austin, Reiner, Abigail, Mario, Michael, Zach, Neil, Grace, Mary, Adam, Nathan, Scott, Samuel, Clayton, Abraham, Elizabeth, Benjamin, Kevin, and Jason. The rest of our donors later in the show. Thank you. The rest of our donors later in the show. Questions? Questions. Oh, man. Okay. Emil, supervillain Carlson. Are there any songs that you love everything about except for the chorus? My answers, Radio Gaga, Too Shy, and Kids in America. Uh, Radio Gaga, I'm with you. Yeah. Too Shy, I don't really have an opinion on. And Kids in America, I think you're all wet. That song is great start to finish. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I guess my answer would be The Buggles' Video Killed the Radio Star. I like the verses. I like the sonic quality of the song. I like the sound of that guy's voice. I hate the chorus, and I hate the backup singers so much that I actually can't listen to it. Huh. The 80s were really a time for weirdos to top the charts. You got Thomas Dolby, Wall of Voodoo, Taco. You remember Taco? <laughs> I remember Taco. He put on the Ritz. Yeah. And I think it's because of videos. People would watch the videos. They enjoy these videos, and then they say, well, I'm going to go out and buy the well, record. Well, also because MTV in the early years only had a certain amount of videos to show. Yeah. So if you made a video, they would show it. I read that question wrong. And so my answer for that is a song where I only like the chorus, but I don't like the verses. The theme to Greatest American Hero. That is like, it's such a corny thing, but we've all had those moments where like something really good's happening and you play that in your head. And that was all you heard on the opening credits of the, of the show. Recently I was in a supermarket and I heard the whole song and it's a horrible song. The verses are the worst, most watered down country music ever. Well, speaking of music, we have another question from Luke. In honor of the Elton John slash John Lennon single. He sent that to us last time. Oh, oh yes, of course. Do you have a favorite musical collaboration? You got one, Matt? I Well, one of them. Uh, it's another John Lennon collaboration, and that's the tracks that he did with David Bowie on the Young Americans LP. Uh, of course, Fame, which is one of mm -hmm. Bowie's best songs. But they also do Across the Universe. It's a very different arrangement than the Beatles version. And I think I like both of them equally. Bowie does this really loose, kind of groovy version of it. And I like it a lot. I'll say Bernie Worrell and the Talking Heads. 
Bernie Worrell, yeah. I think he really brought a, like a really cosmic, creepy sound to them when, when he performed with them. I think he sort of became a member of the Talking Heads. Yeah. I, I believe he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with them. Really? I think so. But he had already gotten in with Parliament. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. He say? I'm sure it was important. He said, yes, yes. I know something. Nothing bad about your mom. No, mom, never. Shoot, play your music. Oh, forget play it, man. Forget I'm getting all the We are this close to everybody going, oh. <laughs> and for God's sake, don't anyone say pass the peas. Otherwise, James Brown will break through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> and we'll never eat our dinner. Black Eyed Peas have calcium. All the calcium in the world ain't gonna make up for this nasty taste. All the calcium in the world ain't gonna make up for this nasty taste is the slogan of powdered milk. <laughs> He's her pusher man. <laughs> no one can voop voop in the with the swivel chair like you. Why are you calling people's mother's name? Mommy, I did it. I thought his mother's name was Mrs. Elephant Butt. <laughs> oh my god. This is a 5,000 square foot apartment. I can't <laughs> believe how huge this place is. No, pass the peas. No, you will summon him. It's Benita. It's a Werther's original. It's actually quite delicious, even though it's usually associated with old ladies. It's a good candy. Shy. Man, I can yeah. use some coffee. Woody. Woody! Hey, Woody! It's me, Elf! I'm here in the, the Virginia! Woody! They're playing this song when these kids are clearly on summer vacation. Ridiculous. <laughs> this is single Dutch. Yeah. When you tie it to a tree, it's single Dutch. She listened to the Chuck Berry song, Little Queenie, and he said, go, 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 Little Queenie, <laughs> and she just followed that instruction. Right. Hey, hi. <laughs> You're looking at us. Hello. Uh. I need you to watch out for Joseph, your brother. And werewolves. Watch out for the werewolves. My mother hates polyester. She's a bigger fan of multiple maniacs or, or even pink flamingos, but she hates polyester. I think it's only a matter of time before this movie is going to be telling us that things are going to get easier and things are going to be brighter. It I is. think it's inevitable. Child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, there will be spiders. <laughs> oh! This is Michael Lafferty. I know what I'm going to pull out of this envelope. This is, again, from Sean Henry of Victoria, British Columbia. Of course, there's a postcard included of something. Dear Matt, Craig, and Tona, I discovered I accidentally acquired two copies of Kelly Reichardt's First Cow, so I pass along my spare. Seen it. I've been wanting to. Oh, yeah. The cool kids say that this was actually the best movie of last year. Ignored by the Oscars, but, you know, I was going to say that. Kelly Reichert, underrated director. Take a look at this. You see that? Look at that. That's what is on the cover of Unboxing, <laughs> the complete second season. Oh, Matt and Craig are still opening mail from fans, but some big changes are about to hit the basement. The Zatoichi Report reaches its long-awaited end. Or does it? Making way for the brand new Hard Ticket Report. Matt's writing expands from poetry to include movie screenplays, TV episodes, and a now-defunct MySpace blog. <laughs> and just in <laughs> case you thought postcards and records weren't enough, the fans wrap up their efforts to and send in zines, laser discs, and more. His most minimalist DVD cover yet. Minimalist yet? Yet detailed. Yes. <laughs> Said the monkey to the chimp. <laughs> During this season, you received the original Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy radio show on cassette. It's buried back here under the Yarn Vader. Craig stated that the book was very important to him. I've never listened to the radio show and haven't read the books in years, but I did just watch the TV show. 
For the first time, I really enjoyed it. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that if you've seen it. The British TV show? I have not. I did see it. I I saw it a very long time ago. I'll get to work on Season 7 DVD cover and see what kinds of deliberate stylistic choices I can come up with for unboxing Season 3. He says this was a deliberate choice, not uh, him not being able to have, get it, <laughs> come up with any ideas. P.S. Are we in Cartoon June yet? Not yet. If not, we should be close to it. You should watch Kung Fu Panda. Hmm. For no other reason than the fact that James Hong plays a character named Mr. Ping. Yes. That zine that was mentioned, Movie John, I enjoyed it so much that I wrote them and I asked if I could write an article for them. They said I could write anything. Nice. I wrote something on How Sue. It is the strangest thing I ever wrote. They put it in their zine, but they never posted it online, so I didn't post it on our website. If you guys are still watching, let me know. I'll be happy to post it on our website. Aaron from Hell's Kitchen. We got a package from him. We're going to be opening that in a bit, but he sent this other package. This box full of cranes. Paper cranes. Now I'm looking at this and I'm wondering what to do with it. I figured it out. I've been taking these cranes. Now I don't, well, I'm going to be seeing people, you know, because that's going to start happening again. So when I see an old friend that I haven't seen, I'm going to give him a crane. I'm also going to take the cranes, and whenever I go out into public, I'm going to secretly put them on shelves <laughs> and, and things for, for places for people to discover. This is my mission with the cranes. And soon, all these cranes will be all over the city. Now, my problem is I haven't trained my brain to remember to do this when I actually go to places. So I keep forgetting to do it. Leave a tray by the door with a few... No, that's not the issue. Oh. I put the cranes in my pocket and I take them with me. Oh. But I still forget. They just stay in the pocket. And then they go in the wash? No, no. So that's a matter of time. I actually left one at the post office today. Oh, good. We get all kinds of stuff in our P.O. box, as you can see. We get books, we get records, we get CDs. And I'm going to talk about some of them right now. I have a book here that I just started reading. I haven't gotten far into it at all. And it is In the Blink of an Eye by Walter Murch. This is not the Walter Murch book that I read 15 years ago. It's one that I haven't read, so I'm very happy about that. It's actually a transcript of sorts of a lecture that he did in Australia in 1997, I think. And so it's about editing, and I'm an editor, and of course uh, I'm very interested in checking this out and seeing if I can learn some new tricks. I've been thinking about editors. During the pandemic, the editors really saved entertainment. How so? Because you can edit completely in isolation. And so you keep the, the wheel of industry going. <laughs> you take all the stuff that's in the can, you can edit these shows and get them out, and you can do it safely, and you, there's no interruption in that art form. So, uh, so here's to the editors. And this is a CD that I listened to in the car, Special Explosion to Infinity. Tone and I enjoyed this quite a bit. These guys sound like a, kind of, a more melancholy death cab for cutie. Mm-hmm. And the songs are good. That's really all I can say about this. This is good music. There's more donors to read, like these people. David, Christine, Mara, John, Ferris, Stephanie, Marie, William, Andrea, Robert, Jennifer, Eric, Ashton, Wilson, Ann, Mora, Amber, Brian, Gill, and Harris on. Harris on. Harrison. Aaron from Hell's Kitchen. More artwork there. Get that up. Abstract Expressionism. He's bringing it back. This is from Larry. This is out of print, which is unfortunate, but also makes sense. Please take good care of it. From Larry. Bio Zombie. Looks like these three boys are getting into a lick of trouble. <laughs> Two unlikely heroes. One mall full of zombies. Every undead has its day. That is for you. Yes, so it is, so it is. This I'm supposed to open carefully. Craig Madentona. To try to use this quarantine time constructively, I started taking some online art classes. One project I started start one project I started to motivate me to practice every day is painting these postcards. Encloses one for each of you. Please feel free to keep it or throw a stamp on it and send it off to someone via our beloved US Postal Service. Oh, this is what he sent to TA Epley. 
Yes, which he sent to us, yeah. This is Lattice Abstract. Oh, he even designed the this side. Oh, we all have a different one. Metal Abstract. Ooh, Shall we open yours, Tony? That one's cool. Oh, this is cute. This is like Piet Mondrian if he liked cats. <laughs> Look at that. I have a feeling that Mondrian was a cat guy. Mondrian's cats. Huh? I, I called uh, it. Thank you, thank you. That's neat. Here. Yeah, that's really cool. Check it out. At the Art Institute in Chicago, they have a Mondrian, which is not of squares. It's a picture of a tree by a lake and a farmhouse in the country, and it's amazing. The squares are great, but he gave up on something else when he moved to the squares. He could do the landscapes and, and yeah. things like that, too. Well, I'm not going to send this to anybody. I'm keeping this for myself. I'm going to eat mine. I eat all the postcards. All of them. All right. Well, uh, thank you for joining us here on Unboxing. We had a great time opening your mail and entertaining you, and now you can check out this. You can. Do, 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 do. Yes. Cut.